The other day, I heard about a retired school teacher in Florida who had a great idea. She bought an old bus, she decked it out with computers and desks and books, and now she drives that bus all around the country providing a place for at-risk children to do their homework and to learn technology. When she was asked why she decided to do that, she said that she wanted to provide hope for children who might be tempted to throw away their dream of a better tomorrow. Well, in a similar way, that's what the writer of the book of Hebrews did. In the first century, a tidal wave of suffering and discouragement threatened the hope and confidence of believers everywhere. So what did he do? He reminded them that their hope of salvation and their assurance of heaven was found in the person and sacrifice of Jesus Christ. Hebrews 6.19 says, We have this hope as an anchor for the soul, firm and secure. Listen, when you're facing storms, hold on to hope. When life is hard, hold on to hope. And when you can't hold on to hope anymore, remember that God is still holding on to you. This year, our prayer ought to be Jesus. In the face of all kinds of trouble and uncertainty that I will face this year, help me to have hope that is grounded in your unfailing promise and your undying love for me. His love never changes. He's got his eyes on you. Make sure you keep your eyes on him. Thank you for watching this. Make sure you share it to encourage other people. You can get the Revival shirt that I'm wearing at shopclaytonjennings.com or you can just click the picture on your screen right now. And also, go to claytonjennings.com. I'm giving away a free poetry CD. You can download it for free right there. I love y'all. Jesus till we die. Bye.